Now, why would I decide to do a matchup between Patrick Moore and Amir Amerijek? Am I trying to cause trouble or stir up trouble between these two dudes? Well, go over to uh, this Instagram page, who is the best bodybuilder, and you will get the gist of why I am doing a comparison between these two. Who is the best bodybuilder? Thank you very much. I uh, messaged him, asked him if I could use these posts. Now, he posted this on his Instagram page, did who is the best bodybuilder, so I guess he was the original instigator. I, I, I'm just the, the stirrer of the pot. Anyway, they had a little bickering uh, matchup, and it looks like a retaliation there, Marijek. It's It looks like he begins here, but he says talk is cheap. Maybe he was, he was referring to something Patrick said, but anyway, I'm not exactly sure. Patrick retaliated. For real, bro? Little man built like a mini fridge. Trying to talk crap or trash. or the, the bad word for poopy, Patrick says with a frown. And then Amerjek, he gets dirty. He says to Patrick, You're the future of the past. I let the work talk. The future of the past. But he puts he put the wrong your. I don't care, but the spelling Nazis will be all over you. But either way, it's <laughs> kind of funny. Patrick, you know, he's, he seems to be always itching for a fight. And I got nothing against either of these guys. In particular, you, Patrick. But he seems to get upset at guys like Fernando Arroyo that, you know, make comparisons. Hey, if you're a bodybuilder getting videos done about you, your stock can only get, you know, better, right? Patrick Moore. Built like a mini fridge. Now, Amir's built pretty good, guys. He's built pretty good. Aesthetically pleasing, I would say. But Patrick Moore, he's on another level. Look at the midsection and look at the arms on Pat. Look at those forearms. Patrick Moore, not known for a set of forearms, but he is now. He is now. Look. Look. Bigger wheels, too, I would say. Now, condition from this shot appears to be somewhat similar. Somewhat similar. I like the vacuum. I mentioned the midsection of Pat, but I like the vacuum pose for Amir as well. Let's go through these shots. Does Patrick Moore have a... Is, is he justified? Saying that Amir Amerijek is built like a fridge? A refrigerator? No, no, no. He's built good. But Patrick Moore is very aesthetically pleasing. He has the muscle where he needs it in this shot. I mean, I see a big set of wheels. I see uh, an unbeatable upper body for Patrick Moore. Wow. This is him at the Legion's, Legion Sports Fest, Patrick. And this is... Uh, Amir at the Romania Muscle Fest placed fourth. He competed a couple other times, but the the footage was not that good. Big Man Weekend, uh, Prague Pro placed very high at the the Big Man second or third second, I think maybe. Anyway, to my knowledge, I don't think these guys have ever stepped foot on the same stage and competed with each other. Patrick Moore going into the side shot is uh, leading the charge. I would say absolutely he's winning the front double. He's winning the front lat spread. And in the side, well, a refrigerator, no. But a thicker midsection with all due respect. Amir, yes, he does possess. And Patrick Moore, look at the size of his arms. You ever realize how big Pat's arms are? Simply massive. Massive. In particular for uh, a more, I don't want to call him a slender, but a, a leaner for the open class, a leaner bodybuilder. His arms are really massive. Must be using those those bands or those, those blue things that he puts, the hand grips. Makes your arms bigger. Hmm? Anybody? You try them. I'm telling you. Patrick Moore. He's awesome, guys. Heading into the side tricep. And I really don't understand why Patrick does not like or he dislikes, you know, Fernando Arroyo, Mark's Max Muscle for making comparison videos. All we do is talk about how big and muscular his arms are. Come on, Patrick. Nice, uh, nice hairdo too. Good mustache. Good physique. Winning this one for sure. Midsection a little bit tighter here in the side tricep for uh, Amir than in the side chest development. But still, when you compare him. It's Patrick Moore. It's it's a loss. It is. It is. They both, in both cases, they're, they they need to straighten their arm, I guess. But who am I to tell them what to do? <laughs> their, their triceps are pretty pronounced, I have to say. 
So it looks like a pretty easy matchup for Patrick Moore to win. And then I go and spoil it all by telling them to turn around and look at the glutes. Oh, baby. Patrick Moore, you should keep your refrigerator comments to yourself. In particular, when you have a, you know, a guy with a strided set of glutes and a lower back that looks like it, it's made out of a, like a Batman costume. Look at that. Christmas trees, baby papa, Louis Marco. Lacks a little width in the V-taper, which Patrick Moore does possess. But let's face it, guys. Patrick could have been dominant in all of the other shots. But a judge is going to look at this. Patrick just was not in shape at the Legion Sports Fest. So, it might be unfair to use this version, but it is his last... And if you're going to compete with this version, fans like myself are going to see the soggy bum. And I guess it kind of writes off all of the other poses because he was not in shape. Rear double bicep, same thing. I mean, it's a good shot for Pat. His V taper's better. I mean, if he was in condition, he'd be winning. His wheels look bigger, things of that nature. But it's just a case where it is bodybuilding. You do need to be in condition. It's not 1980. It's not 1980. You're not going to pick a guy because there was nobody else to pick. And then, you guys know what I'm talking about. Oh, come on. Don't be picking on my final Olympia win. I just wanted the sand out for my little mantle piece. But, anyway. Hey, to upset a guy like Patrick Moore, but, hey, if I don't say that this guy's not in the condition of a, an Amir Amerjik, then you guys will get mad at me, right? And furthermore, why are these guys so sensitive when they're able to sling names like refrigerator? You know, built like a mini, a mini fridge. So, glass houses, don't throw stones, things of that nature. If you can dish it out, should be able to take it. Go to the abs and thigh. And we'll work our way to finishing this one off. Amir Amerijek, this is him at the Prague Pro. He was in much better condition at the Romania. He placed 4th at the Romania and 7th at the Prague. So, placings reflected that as well. I wish there was some better footage of him at the... The Big Man. It's the one that Angel called her on one. The Little Man won the Big Man. Ironically, you know, the Little Man won this Legion Sports Fest from Patrick Moore. The little guy beat them all. Anyway, anyway, Patrick Moore, far superior, superior, I apologize, in all of the front shots. So one could really say Patrick Moore is a very dominant bodybuilder in this matchup. He's winning all of the shots, except for the back ones. There's only, there's only two back shots. And when you go to the most muscular... It lends some more belief that Patrick Moore is a just head and shoulders better bodybuilder than Amir Amerjik. Or is he? The game of bodybuilding requires you to be in condition to compete against other bodybuilders that are also in condition to compete. So if they just threw the blue ribbon around the guy with the greatest physique and the nicest looking physique, Patrick Moore would probably win most of his shows. But it is a condition game, guys. So do those two back shots equal an overall win for Amir Amerijek against Patrick Moore? Considering, considering, guys, Pat was winning the front double, front lap, side chest, side tricep, abs and thigh, most muscular, who was ever. I made those last couple up, but you know what I mean, guys. All of those shots against two. I think if if you were going to award a guy a win just because of the two back shots, it would have to be an overwhelming conditioning edge, the likes of which that I have never seen before. And when you do look at the two in that rear lat spread, it is that much of a difference. So yeah, the judges were to look at these two versions on any bodybuilding stage with proper lighting. They would more than likely give it to Amir Amerjek. So that's that's how I see it. That's how I see it. But anyway, guys, 
more than likely upset a few Patrick Moore fans by that decision. But let's face it, guys. Patrick Moore phoned it in as far as the condition is concerned at the Legion Sports Fest. I mean, look at other versions of him. 2019 Olympia, of course. Everybody's going to mention that. But you can only live off your past performances for so long. This is here, and this is now. And Patrick Moore called a young and up-and-coming hungry lion. A young, vicious lion. A refrigerator. But I guess this video was a, a retaliation. Maybe you shouldn't call a guy a refrigerator. That could very well defeat your last version. But that's not to say Pat's not going to, you know... Come on the, the scene strong this season and bring a much better package. Hey, I hope he does. I am a huge fan of Pat. Hit thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel.